Hey guys, I'm Jess and I'm your host for a brand new segment called In the Peg. We're here in the city of Winnipeg exploring local restaurants to see what they have to offer. Today, we're at St. James Burger and Tips Co. So we're here at St. James Burger and Chip Co. and I'm sitting down with general manager and partner Sanjay. We're going to talk a little bit about what makes this establishment so unique. So what made you guys want to open up a burger joint here in Winnipeg? We love food. We're food foodies ourselves and we kind of orient ourselves around making great food for everybody else. So I've seen on your guys' Instagram page that you have one of the most Instagrammable burgers that I have ever seen before in my life. What kind of love and care goes into making such amazing food? You have to be very creative, thoughtful, be mind, well-minded on the actual products that we use in our restaurant and just kind of know what everybody's looking into. Nice. Yeah. With St. James Burger & Co, we have found out that they actually donate 25% of their tips to local charities and veterans. What type of charity are you looking forward to donating to next? Um, we're looking towards donating a lot of like feminine hygiene products to schools in the area. We've done all sorts of stuff for like, as in means of like scholarships and opportunities for other people to, you know, better themselves. We also, like, like you said, donate 25% of our tips, depending on which organization, what we're doing to veterans and pretty much anything we can. Like we sponsor the St. James Rods and we continue to look for things to do within our own community. That's really awesome. That's really great of you guys. Yeah. So why do you think it is so important as a local establishment to give back to the community? You know, a lot of the people that we are giving back to are people that have friends and families that are customers to our establishment. And we feel as if, if we give back to them, maybe it would be just good business for everybody all around. On that note, you guys really give back to veterans and you know the Royal Canadian Legions in the city. And you just received a friendship award from yeah. the Canadian Legion, actually. What was it like to receive that kind of award? It was phenomenal. We were up at the um, Parliament building. And yeah, no, it was just a great feeling all together. And getting to get that standing ovation and receive that award was just something spectac spectacular. So here in the city of Winnipeg, we celebrate a whole week dedicated to tasting Winnipeg's best burgers. Your establishment actually competed in this contest. Can you tell us a little bit about the burger that you submitted, how turnout was? Yeah. Our burger that we submitted was the Andy Donut Burger, and it was phenomenal. It was different. You had to have liked to try something out of the box. A lot of customers came in and they thought, hey, this is, you know, this is different, but when they tried it, they left with a smile on their face. All day it was havoc, we had a line up out the door, but my staff kept going and kept, kept their heads up, stayed pretty strong, so it was all together pretty good. I'm super excited to go in and try everything that they have to offer, so let's go inside and see what Sanjay's prepared for us today. So they prepared us some ultra awesome cool burgers that I'm so excited to try. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what your team has prepared for us okay. today? Over here we have our afterburner burger. It is a, a it is on a brioche bun with lettuce, tomato, pickle. It also comes with our burger patty, cheese, banana peppers, jalapeno, sriracha, Frank's red hot sauce, bacon, a little bit of everything good. And over here, just right Next to it, we have our 17 wing with our fried egg on it with barbecue sauce, green onions, lettuce, tomato. We have our spicy mayo sauce that we put on there, and it's also on a brioche style bun. Really nice. Yeah. Super excited. I'm also really excited to try their fries because it's one of the best French fries in the entire city. They actually won best fries by Virgin 103's yes, uh, we did. French fry contest, yep. right? Yeah, and that was in from all the people that all try different fry places and they cast their votes and they, I guess we have a lot of support. So Really nice. Great, yeah. Let's dig into these. Which one should we start with first? Uh, I think you should start with the 17 wing. This one here? Yep. Cool. OK. 
Okay. Ready? Here we go. Oh. She did it, guys. <laughs> that was so good. That was really good. Oh, and spicy mayo, you said? Yep. Mm. Barbecue sauce with your fried egg and lettuce, tomato. Definitely going to need some napkins for this one. <laughs> you can't eat here without napkins. <laughs> Very true, as we you can see. So the next burger we're going to try. What's this guy called again? That is our afterburner burger. Afterburner. And what can I expect from this one? Uh, well, it's really hot. So Really hot. Okay. I do like quite a bit of spice, so let's see if uh, my threshold can uh, withstand it here. Okay. Do I got a good bite? There we go. Maybe we'll go from this side. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's got some heat to it. Really good, though. Really nice. Awesome. Woo! Yeah, you can taste that heat. Super nice, though, guys. Awesome. You want to join me for a little French fry cheer? Yes. Indeed. Cheers. There we go, guys. So good. So where can people find more information about your establishment? If you guys are looking to check out a little bit more on what we do, you can you can catch us on Instagram at St. James Burger, and the same goes for Facebook, St. James Burger. All one word, no spaces. And is there anyone that you want to give a shout out to or give yeah, some thanks? You, you know what, just mostly the general St. James community and you know, all of our awesome customers that come and check us out on almost a daily basis. I mean, we couldn't really ask for much more support than that, so. Really nice. Well, I'm Jess. I thank everyone so much for allowing us here to film our first segment on In the Peg. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys. See you guys later.